the hardest thing that I have ever had to do in my life. James was my only child on March the 4th, 2020. Me and my husband had left to go celebrate in Vegas because we had just gotten married December the 14th, 2019. Before leaving, I dropped my son off at Highlands Alzheimer's and Memory Care at 5.45 a.m. James loved his job and all the residents, their families, along with co-workers, and they loved him. He was just a big teddy bear. I also worked there. Upon dropping James off, the last word I said to my son was, I love you, son. Take care of the house. I'll see you when I get back. He replied, I love you too, Mom. Call me when you get to Vegas. Have fun. Not knowing it would be my last time seeing my son alive. On March the 6th, I received a call at 1 a.m. in Vegas time. One of my co-workers said that James had been shot. My life has changed forever since March the 6th, 2020. I sat here in the courtroom listening to everything, everything the defense attorney said, looking at the videos, and seeing my son run for his life. That was the hardest thing I had ever had to do. You didn't have to kill him. James was a brother to Ashley and a brother to Anthony, an uncle to his nieces and nephews who loved him dearly, a big cousin to all his cousins whom looked up to him as their brother. I can't find it in my heart to hate you. This was a senseless, senseless, senseless crime you did, um, taking my son's life over a girl. Now I can't have, be a grandmother. I think my grandkids can't call me Nana. They can't call me Mima because my son is gone. Over a girl that was back and forth with you and my son. Had not my son met a Bree, he would not have met a Frankie Ackley. So today, I'm just here to get justice for James and to get some closure and move on because this is very hard. Thank you, Your Honor.